Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I want to talk about the Divi 5 responsive editing experience. Now, if you are familiar with Divi 4 or have been using Divi for a long time, things have changed in Divi 5 and it's quite a big change and I want to point that out to you and it's it's much better. Um, it'll be more intuitive for new users, but for those of us who have been using Divi for a long time, it may take some adjustment. So I want to point this out, kind of go over it quickly and do a little comparison um, from Divi 4 to Divi 5. Go ahead and jump over to the blog post. If you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link down below. All right, so let's get into it. Talk quickly about how you would normally do it in the old way, then we'll get into the Divi 5 way. So as you probably know, unless you're watching this in the future and you're new to Divi, you can kind of just move on. But if you're curious, stick around. So the way it would work, each setting had a responsive little icon when you hover over it. And then there were these three tabs within each setting. That's really important because that's, that's how it worked. And I'll talk about what was so confusing about that. So let me jump into a demo. Now this is using like Divi 4.27 or something like that. So here I have a text module. When I would open this up in Divi 4 and I would go, let's say I want to change the text size, right? So I'll head to the design tab, click on the text toggle, and then I'll find the text, text size right there. When I hover over that or over any other setting, see how they had these options that came, that came up here. So there, is a little like phone icon. If you click on that, then it opens desktop, tablet, and phone. So any change I make now, so like here I have it at 22. So let's say on tablet, I click on that. Now I'm in, now the view changed also, and I could change this to 20. And then let's say for phone, I click on that and the view changes again. And I want this to be 18. So now each device, has a different text size. And that's great. That's what we've become familiar with. Now, there was also something else that caused confusion. So down below, you had these three icons. So let's say I switch to tablet. And let's say I want to change uh, the color of this text. And so I would find this text color. So now I'm on tablet. And some users thought, well, if I change it to red when I'm on tablet, well, it will be red on tablet, but when I switch back to desktop, oh, it's also still red. That confused people. Um, when you would switch sizes, and it would still like be, you know, applied to all sizes. When you open this, of course, in Divi 4, this is what you had to do. So if I wanted that orange on phone, and I wanted this to be red on tablet, and maybe blue on desktop, that's how I would have had to do that. But I understand how confusing that was to a lot of people because they would change the size here and expect it to be updated. All right, so I think we've covered that. That's going to be the old way. Let's talk about how it works now in Divi 5. By the way, you can continue following along. I have all this explained if you want to read about it, if that's easier for you. Um, so kind of summarize everything there. All right, so in Divi 5, I have just the alpha here. So I want to clarify, I'm recording this just when the alpha came out, so things could change something could look different, kind of ignore that. But for now, the main things that are not going to change are the responsive editing. Now, let's do that exact same process, changing the text size and the color of a text module in Divi 5. So already, you may have noticed, like even if I had closed that, if I hover over this text module and click, the setting comes out here. Let's go to the design tab. I wanna scroll down and find that text size. Now, when I hover, notice there is no little phone icon, right? So you may think, well, how can I change the size, you know, the, the value for each size? Well, let's try this. If I want to make that 22, like the old site, and now, you know, what do I do? Well, they have two options. Up here in the top, they added this little drop down, so I can choose tablet here, or I can choose phone here. Notice that it changes the preview size. Okay, that exact same thing in these options here is also up at the top. So I can choose that and that. Notice it's not down below anymore. So these are kind of working the same, right? Where you have the 
desktop, tablet, and phone icons, and it changes this preview size. The thing that's majorly different, now look at this. So if I have 22 text size, now I go to tablet, and I want that to be 20. I just change it there. When I'm on tablet and I change this value, that applies to tablet. So watch, when I go back to desktop, 22. Go to tablet, 20. Now let's go to phone, and I want to make this 18. There we go. Now again, if I switch to tablet, 20. Desktop, 22. It's that simple. So you could use this drop down. More than likely, that's not going to be as useful as just clicking here. I think that's going to be where we do it. I'll do also the collar just to demo that. So let's, I don't know which ones I use, but if I want it orange on desktop, and then green on tablet and purple on mobile. Just see how quickly I made that change and how quickly I can go back and forth between those, right? It works great, I really like this. Now there will be one thing to clarify. Um, you may notice that, let's say I'm on phone and I, you know, you see this 467 up here. Let's say I want it to be, you know, 400 for example. And then I go and make a change. So keep in mind that's still working within the mobile phone breakpoint. So even if I, you know, move this a little and then change it, maybe I move it a little more and I change it, I'm actually just changing it for this phone breakpoint, okay? I want to make that as clear as possible. Um, see how it's 15 now, I, I just changed it. So no matter what size you're putting here, it's still working within those three breakpoints of Divi. And I do have that mentioned here in the blog post as well. Uh, remember the breakpoints at this point, now this could change, they could add new ones in the future uh, with Divi 5 here. So desktop is above 981, tablet is 980 to 768, and phone is 767 and down. I'll show that here by going to the front end and I'll use the inspector and then I'll just move the browser preview size. So it's, you can see here, right here at the top, uh, as I get closer to 981, oops, right there, it changes from red to orange. And then as I get to 767, there. So it still has those breakpoints that it operates under um, at this point. Hey, and by the way, I wanted to point out that we do have a trail guide on our website about Divi responsive design. Let me show you that. So if you come on over under courses, we have trail guides and under Divi, we have trail guides, um, pacreative.com slash trail guides. Um, we're gonna be updating this more in the future for sure. So we have one on Divi troubleshooting and one on Divi responsive design. We have one coming for like dynamic content and theme building things. So this one here, Divi responsive design, you can click on this, you can see the progress that I'm making on this one. And it'll come over to a page like this, it'll give you an overview of it, again, show you the progress. And then as you're going down through, we actually have some changes because of Divi 5, right? Um, the new video that you're watching now is going to probably go here. Um, and then down through, we have all these guides linked um, which you can check out all about responsive design. All right. Again, the key things to take away from this are there, you know, are no longer those responsive tabs within each setting and you can make the change live on whichever of the breakpoints you are on and it will apply instantly to that, to that size. The value will apply to that size. I think that's how other page builders work. And I feel like, now Divi has kind of taken that on and just standardized that. So be familiar if you are coming or going from other page builders. Um, you can let me know in the comments if I'm right on that. But I think that's generally how others work and it, it makes sense to me. And um, I'd like to know, do you like this change? Does this make sense to you? One of the things I saw a lot in like Facebook group, people asking like, hey, I'm making these changes and it's not applying to each device. And it's it's always been that they were changing you know to tablet and phone and then changing the setting but they weren't actually opening up those tabs now you know someone new coming to it i think that based on like things like that that i've seen i've been using divi so long that i just got used to it but i think based on what i'm seeing from other people coming to divi you know without experience with it they're expecting it to work like how divi 5 is now working um, if if that makes sense let me know in the comments if you've had like a similar experience 
And yeah, if there's anything you want me to cover about Divi 5, different changes, um, let me know. I do have a post about the Divi 5 interface changes. Uh, let's see, I call it, yeah, how to use the new Divi 5 interface. So we go over a bunch of different things there. Um, there's actually a good bit of things. So the, the settings obviously change location, docking, how that works. Um, you can drag to resize the, the dock sidebar. Um, there's You can put tabs within that dock sidebar to work in multiple uh, windows, really cool. Obviously the UI has changed. You can double click and um, you don't need to like click save on all your changes, things like that. And there's breadcrumbs now. You can change the color scheme. There's different options for that. And then responsive editing, of course, which we just talked about. The button to exit the builder is different. The preview button is there now. And then the interaction mode is, is new. You can also right click on anywhere to open up the menu. Um, you're going to have the layers on the left and stuff like that. So there's a good bit of changes with the interface itself. So I would be curious uh, which one of those things you would want to see like a full video on. Let me know for sure. All right. Hope you enjoy the direction Divi is going. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be a lot of potential and things uh, for everyone. So hope this is helpful as we go into that new era. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.